Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. On this video, something you've never seen before. It took me hours to do this. Psych. It won't take that long. Maybe a couple minutes. <laughs> Hopefully, it benefits you. I'm gonna show you how to make the dopest, not a bass line, but bass sound ever. Three beats. So, this video might be eight hours long. But anyway, check it out. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, DJ Fanatic. Why do I say it again? I always say it. I said in the intro, I'm saying it again. Soundsforproducers.com. So anyway, um, this video is really quick, really short. My bad about the intro. I got a little excited and besides myself for making the intro and just kind of went ham with it. And you might've seen this bass before. So if you have, maybe I'll show you something that you didn't know you can do uh, with it. But it's a quick way of making a bass sound for any beat or any type of song that you're working on. This actually was a beat that I worked on in the last video. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Uh, this is actually for a film project. So anyway, uh, this is where I introduced the bass into the song. So this is the bass here, pattern 13 and 15, and I'll just hit um, play. And it's actually more like a just a simple synth bass. And you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. But anyway, I'm gonna hit play. So notice, this is the bass here. And you're wondering, how did I get it so clean? How did I do that? Anyway, in the channel rack, I use the free FL Studio Native 3X OSC. And basically, you can create a nice clean bass in this plugin. If you haven't uh, created one before, uh, that's pretty much the bare bones of a bass sound that I use. So let me show you how to do it. Uh, let's select another one. Uh, where are we at? I barely use it, but I wanted just a clean sine wave in that beat, well, this instrument in the sound anyway. So basically, you can turn off the other oscillators. That's those are volume control, or you can leave them as is. And what else you do is just um, bring down the um, the pitches. So and keep this on sine wave. And then what you can do, you can detune some of these. To give it a little grit or like just some just a little character and you can mess with the phase offset you can kind of just mess with all of these sorry I'm getting ahead of myself because I, I never actually changed those um, these uh, s waves I never changed these so keep it on sine wave and lower the pitch and you got some cool stuff see and you can actually keep it pretty simple like this but i do like to detune sometimes to give it that little wobble there and also what you can do um let me just show you with solo this and bass and you can always add just you know distortion on it uh, this is decapitator you can add all kinds of stuff try different styles uh, I suppose the loop oh, I didn't loop it
This actually reminds me of something Travis Scott might use. It's like a heavily distorted bass line. Before? After. And you don't have to use just the cavitators. Other things you can use. Uh, I haven't used Isotop Trash in a while. Hopefully it loads. Let's see. And it loads. So this, you can do like some crazy stuff. Um, experimental. Acid laser. This is the... This is a distortion plugin, uh, very advanced. Um, you can do some cool, great stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> hey, they don't call it experimental for nothing. Uh, let's try bad wiring slam. Nice. So you get the idea you can actually create a quick bass and 3x osc it's pretty much free in every F fl studio program and all you do is lower these um what do you call them pitch semitones all the way down and you also um you can just turn them turn one and two down off and just use one or you can just lower all of these actually let me see something before I tell you wrong, because I definitely want to tell you wrong. Yeah, this one, this is what I used in the beat. So I chose to just turn off one and two and just use um, layer one, um, oscillator one. So let's go back to the example of the one I chose, uh, this one. And notice it's a little different or a lot different than the one I created because the other one has distortion on it. This one doesn't. So anyway, you can get some cool sounds just with this um, oscillator 3x OSC and that three times oscillator. So you can actually, I don't know, if you want to mess around with some of these. And you hear that uh, square wave right underneath it. This is like the beginning of sound design. And you can invert and see what happens. <laughs> and you can roll a dice. Actually, no, that's white noise, my bad. It's been a while since I used this. Try other sine waves. Ooh. So you can make some cool basses with this and some other sounds too, so. It looks pretty simple and you can do some really complex stuff. You start adding reverb, delay, other type of uh, effects on top of what you're creating and, you know, widening the sound. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff in here. So and EQing, you can do some cool stuff with EQ. I said cool so many times. So anyway, there you have it. Really quick video. My bad again for the intro. I was really excited to do it. <laughs> anyway. Keep making dope music. Uh, shout out to all our new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit the sub button as well as the bell so you can see the other videos coming for the channel. And also in the description, there will be the link to the free loop pack. So make great music with that. And make sure you link us in so we can repost you, your dope stuff, especially on IG. Sounds for producers if you want to follow us on IG. So signing out. Again, DJ Fanatic at Sounds for Producers. Have a great evening. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.